The drivers are the public face of F1, but it takes an enormous team to put them on the grid, something that the AT&T Williams F1 drivers are well aware of, which is why Nico Rosberg has come to the factory to sign autographs and memorabilia, just one small way that he can say thank you. Cheers, sir. Good luck on Sunday. After the signing session, Nico has an interview to do with German TV about the differences between his modern F1 car and the cars that his father, world champion Keke Rosberg, drove for Williams nearly 30 years ago. Also, mein Vater kann ich überhaupt nicht dran erinnern in, in der Formel 1. It's easy to assume that the life of an F1 driver is all fast cars, glamour and champagne, and sometimes it is. But being an F1 driver is a full-time job, as we'll see as we spend the day with Nico Rosberg and Kazuki Nakajima. Sponsors are vital to the Williams operation. Nico and Kazuki work hard, making sure that the Williams partners are well rewarded for their investment. The overall objective is a bit of fun. They just want to show you guys off and show the relationship they have with the team off to press. Today, they're off to an event hosted by Swiss watchmaker Oris. We're here today with both Nico and Kazuki, which is uh, very rare actually. You only ever normally do one uh, driver at a time, but uh, we've got both of them here today, which is great. It's a really great thing to be connected with a team like Williams. It's about precision, it's about timing, it's about a very high level um, of attention to detail. I think it will create even more excitement with all the people we have invited. Yeah, we just want to have a fun day today. If the partner's happy for me, then job done. The drivers get asked to do all sorts of things, but this time they're on familiar ground, racing. This is the first corner, very, very fast. We, uh, we go through there about, not, not quite the speed that Kazuki's doing, but we go through there with about 180 mile an hour through that first part. We're not too fast. Um, <laughs> and it's as competitive as ever. Three, two, one, away we go! It seems to be going pretty well. Um, everybody seems to be happy. We've had a good media turnout, as you can see behind. It really is important to give as much value as we can back to the sponsors. I think the drivers understand that this kind of uh, role, servicing the partners, doing PR days for them, is uh, very important. That's incredible. 6.3 seconds, and it is Nico Rosberg who takes the chequered flag. <laughs> Kazuki, what, what happened on the, uh, on the back straight there, mate? Was it a grip issue? Uh, I think so. The track grip was really low, and then maybe I had a problem with the warm up. So, yeah, I pushed a bit too much on the first lap. We do always keep the driver's interests at heart, so we'll never do anything over the top. We won't have them out late at night at sponsor events before a race. Fastest time, especially if you can beat 6.3, will win the uh, Kazuki Nakajima Limited Edition Horace Watch. <laughs> The drivers are just doing their interviews uh, for the journalists pre Silverstone Grand Prix, so looking good so far. So, onto the winner's rostrum goes Louisa Skipper. Unfortunately, there's no champagne. It's been quite a busy day. Um, not quite as fun as driving my racing car. Fantastic, it's been really good fun. It's really fantastic to have both drivers here. But for Nico and Kazuki, wouldn't they rather be out on the track racing? It is an important part of the process because the more uh, I do for the partners, the better my car is going to be. We're just packing up bits and pieces now. Um, pretty successful day, lots of media turnout, so uh, the partner is happy, which means I'm happy and uh, everybody can go home with a big smile on their face.